This is E38. I'm redoing this video uh, since a lot of people are asking for detailed pictures of uh, the, the ping nouts. I have created the web pages on my website. So uh, on the uh, usbjtech.com, there is a Ulink NT. And if you look at Ulink NT devices, scroll down to the end. Now it has a section called ECUs. And under here, you can find the ECU 411 and Volvo ECM and ECU E38. I will create more uh, put in here. So if you click here, you will see the two images for the uh, pinout. One is for the master to program and the other one is for slave. Uh, if you want to look at the detail, uh, you can right click and open in a new tab here. This image is much more detailed. You can zoom in to the full size. So in here, we have ground pin here, and one, two, three pins go to 12 volt. So if you look at here, there is a red pins that we connect to the, the 12 volt, and the ground pin is here. Uh, this pin, by the way, I will use this for, for slave. And on the master, on this side, there's two pins for the S reset and H reset. Uh, I use the colors to tell if you were using the uh, Unink NT cable, Unink NT cable here. This will be S reset purple and the uh, H reset, which is blue, and the VDD is yellow. The DSI is brown in here, pin here, and the DS, uh, DSCK, which is clock, is green, and the data out is the orange here. Uh, point here, the another two pins is one VLFLS one and VLS zero. One is red and the other gray. Those pins are used for tell if you are in the VDM on mode or not. This one tell if you have boxes on or not. So I'm going to show in the software here. We select the ECU E38, and now we can connect the. Uh, Ulink and T, and with the cable. And now we can power on the 12 volt. So we can detect and it's detect the the uh, flash. Oh, by the way, uh, the one hundred ohm resistor is put in here because if you want to be able to erase and program, you have to have this resistor. This one is pulling the WPP pin to to high. Without it, you can read it, but you cannot write it. So now let's do a read, and. We can select the maximum speed and 18 megahertz, and with five seconds, we read the whole flash. We can do a verification. And you can save the flash. And this is the uh, flash. With the keyword in there, we already know the, the VIN number, and with the timestamp, I already saved it, so I don't need to save it anymore. Uh, let's try to erase the the flash so let's see we can erase the flash and we can use initialization and verify so since I have everything is empty if we verify it will tell if this flash is empty or not uh, in this case, if compare past, it's okay. Another command you can use is called blank check flash. And this will tell if the flash is blanked or not. So let's program this back, which is, I have a backup early today. And here is my flash and we can write to it.
we can try to verify, see if this passed. It, it is. Okay, now let's switch to the slave. Okay, so I'm going to power off the target, remove the USB, and here. Now, the slave is pinned out in here. Uh, if we look at here is the second page, uh, second image here. By the way, there's a table for the master to look at. The slave is too simple, so I didn't have a table. So this is slave, same power and, and the ground here. Uh, the resistance does not matter. So there is a one reset pin and one, uh, the one uh, background pin. Uh, the reset pin is the orange and the brown, uh, uh, background pin is the, the purple. However, I'm not using the initial cable. I only saw the two wires here. So I know this pin, this pin is the uh, background pin and this is reset. So I'm connect two pins here. And uh, then the ground pin, which is pin two. And now we can connect the, the USB. Uh, in the software, we need to select the uh, call slave, ECU slave, which is the, now let's power on, and we can try to detect, we do detect it, and it tells we have 32 kilobytes of flash, and we can read it. And here is uh, the flash. Uh, we can try to verify one more time. All flash, yeah. So if we want to save, we will save this one and it will tell you the uh, VIN numbers or whatever version numbers and the, uh, the date. I already saved it, so I don't want to save this any time. Uh, I want to show you one thing though. Uh, I see people, other other people have programmed the incorrect uh, firmware on it and it break the slave and they think it's, it's toasted. So let me show you how I did it. Uh, instead of putting this correct, uh, the backup up, I'm programmed the wrong one, which is a JPEG file. So if we, or, or let's say I'm programmed the master to the slave. Okay. If I were programmed the master slave, I could do so. Let's say I program it. This is uh, on purpose to break the slave and showing you how to use the software to debrick it. So we have programmed the master, which is not intended for the slave and it's completely, uh, not, uh, completely wrong for the slave and the slave will we can try to verify it will still pass. Yeah, however, if I power off and then I power on, then if I detect, I say it's flash is secure. I cannot read, like I cannot write, you know, this is secure. Once you, in this case, you thought this was bricked, uh, there is a command for the uh, ECU slave which let me try to read it if we can read it. Okay, so we get it. See if we get anything. I believe we, we, we won't read anything. So we read like raw data. These are, uh, you know, not, no nonsense. So to, to, in order to pro, uh, break it, we can call, there's a command, I'll call unlock. Okay, if we type command unlock, You see, now we see the PDM is uh, on. I can power off and power back on. And if I hit detect now, I know the flash, I can detect the flash. So now I put, put back in my early backups and then we can write to it.
and let's verify it. It's programmed, we can power off and power back on and we can detect and we can verify. So don't worry about the, the flash being, you know, uh, secured or think it's bricked. There is a built-in command on unlock. As long as you program the uh, the proper firmware on it, it will be okay. Uh, if you really have a flash that's been secured, that just means you they do not allow you to read it, but it does not prevent you to write to the flash a new one to it. So you just need to unlock it and then you can program the flash again. So in this video, I have shown you the E38 with a master and a slave. So I hope you know this video clears a lot of people out and we do have the web page that allows you to find the detailed PIM out.